A waterbed, literally. I mean, the bright side, no one would hear you snoring, but also you'd run out of air in about like two seconds, so you have bigger problems than that. Also, her slippers like totally flew away. This looks comfortable. How is she like staying down? Does she have a seatbelt on? Confusion. This is like the last concept, but with execution that's more long lasting. You're literally in a fishbowl. You can see the fish. You are the fish. Whoa, they're looking at you like we looking at fish. I'm here for it. This is so cool. Coolest beds in the world. This is what a Disney bed does when you walk in. Whoa. Well, I mean, for $500 a night, it better do this, and Mickey Mouse better be in the closet. Wait, actually that's kind of creepy. This is ingenious. Sleeping pods at the airport for when you have a layover or you just tired. Like I am all the time. Here, we're gonna see here get into it. I feel like they could look a little cozier, but here we are. Like look at that one thin decorative pillow. That thing don't work. There's no need for it. Okay, I love that you have a cover so that the lights don't keep you awake, but is this really sanitary? Who's wiping this thing down? Who slept in this before? But also, can we have these everywhere? Like I need this on every corner. Sometimes you just need a nap. You don't know when the nap is needed, but it'd be handy if this was there. This is apparently a bubble hotel in the Maldives. Whoa, this is so cool, but also everyone can see you. How do you change? I don't know if I feel comfortable with like people watching me sleep either. It's so pretty, wow. This is the coolest bedroom ever, but do you think they went a little overboard? Get it, because it's pirate themed? <laughs> Crack myself up. Okay, but seriously, how spoiled is this kid? His parents spent all their money pimping out this room. Look at this, he sleeps up there. Whoa, there's a slide and a rock climbing wall? You gotta be kidding me. A little room for gaming? By little, I mean it's massive. This girl's making a bed out of Orbeez. Is this gonna work? I don't know. It's gonna take her a very long time to fill up, so I'm just gonna fast forward for us. Oh, and here we are. The moment of truth, will they pop? Whoa. Orbeez bed ASMR. Oh, this is so satisfying. It works. Honestly, this is so wholesome. So wholesome. I love this. I've seen a car bed, but have you ever seen a bed on a car that literally moves? Because this is a first for me too. Is this supposed to be fun to sleep in public under the bright sun going 45 miles an hour? I would disagree. I have a different definition of fun personally. Also look at their seatbelts strapped around their necks. Like I feel uncomfortable just looking at them. <gasps> this is so adorable. Design over 9,000. I like this. I hope this isn't like the car bed though and it doesn't fly away as your in it because that sounds scary. Like, look how cozy and cute this looks. Also, I feel like you would outgrow this bed in a year and it's probably expensive. This sofa bed folds out into a bunk bed. I've seen sofa beds turn into beds, but I've never seen them turn into bunk beds. This is taking sleepovers to a whole nother level. She makes it look so easy too. If I know anything in life is when people make things look easy, they never are. You're like, I could do that. Can't do it. This is a swing bed with the ocean literally underneath you. It's kind of scary and kind of cool at the same time. I wonder if it makes you feel seasick because you're like wobbly and the water's there. This is kind of like a sofa bed, but like 10,000 times harder to put together. Like this is taking a whole crew of people. You need to hire employees to put this thing together. But like you get your own private room, I guess. Also kind of just looks like a giant toaster. This is what it looks like inside. Whoa, so much more roomy than I thought. You get two beds. They look like the most uncomfortable beds I've ever seen in my life. But hey, when you need to sleep, you need to sleep. When I'm really tired, I can sleep anywhere. I could sleep here if I was really tired, legit. Honestly, I might order one. I love tiny things, They're so cute. Okay, these people made a travel pillow that's supposed to hold you in any position you want. Honestly, it just looks really funny. <laughs> I'm here for it though. I have no shame. I will wrap myself up in this hand. Now look how comfortable he is. I call this one the portable bed. You can sleep anywhere. Fun fact, a bed that folds into the wall is actually called a Murphy bed. It gives you more space for activities during the day when you're not using it. But I mean, I can barely make my bed. Never mind, put my bed away every day. Beds be asking for way too much nowadays. Are we calling this a bed now? There's no mattress or pillows or sheets. It's just a net. This is the perfect bed for aspiring trapeze artists or monkeys. It's not a bed for me. No, a sandwich bed. Now we're talking. It looks amazing. But wouldn't this make you super hungry every time you go to bed? I'm already hungry enough as it is. I don't need help. And then you'd have to get up and get a snack, but you aren't supposed to eat before you're sleeping, so then you have to wait like 45 minutes. Look, I see some problems with the reality of this one. Also, if you ever eat in bed, you spill crumbs, but then no one will blame you because you got a bread bed anyways. That's a positive. Ooh. Ooh, barrel bed. Pretty cool. If you can get past the fact that it looks a little, you know, coffin-like. 
then this is for you. What if you were sleeping though and then someone decided to move your bed and play a prank on you and rolled you down a hill? That would suck. Oh, a teddy bear bed, adorable. I feel like this is every child's dream come true. Like you just cuddled by a bear and it looks so cozy. Is the lady in there like a little big fur though? I feel like she's like really curled up because she can't straighten her legs. There's some kid off camera being like, mom, that's my bed. Wow, a natural grass bed? This seems like something straight out of a fairy tale. But in reality, you'd be sleeping with bugs and dirt. That's the thing fairy tales never tell you. And that's really like the best they could do for a blanket. Who is that covering, honestly? It also kind of looks like prosciutto. <laughs> Velvet bread loaf bread? Why does that first lady look like she doesn't got much on and the other lady is just chilling with her? Okay, this is just weird. Hover cloud bed. Was the stem of this photoshopped out? Or is there some technology that they just aren't telling us about? Also, does this work with people of any weight? Like, what if I eat too many tacos? It would be a huge bummer if you went to sleep and the bed just like wouldn't lift up. This is a 30 thousand dollar water bed pod. I once heard of a free water pod bed. It's called sleeping in your bathtub. Though this looks really cool. It looks like it's from the future. This girl loves making beds for napping in the most random places. This time it was an empty Costco container. I hope she didn't fall asleep at the store though because someone might buy her by mistake. Imagine it's the lid is closed. They're like, oh, this container is really heavy. I wonder why. I've shown this bed before and I'll show it again and again and again because it's that cool. It's a couch bed, but with cool storage and speakers built into it. If I had that lap top desk right there on the side, it'd be very dangerous. I would do about 100% of my videos in bed. Who's to say I'm not in bed right now? It'd be really terrible if your name wasn't Ethan and then you got this bed. Ooh, chocolate cake bed. Now we're talking. Are the metal beams edible too? I just want to be fully prepared when I go there. Am I eating a meal before or am I not? Because I need to make space. How do you even get into this bed? <laughs> It'd be really cool, but then I'd get bored after 30 seconds. If you wanted your bed to give you a huge belly, this is the bed for you. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Minion bed! The only weird thing about this bed besides, you know, your insane obsession for minions is the arms that hug you. They're kind of creepy, but also kind of cute. Loose leaf notebook bed. Could use more cushion. Kind of just seems like a blanket on the floor. Anyways, guys, what's your favorite bed? I love you guys all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice, other.